Uh, welcome to another okay. episode of Through the Lens with Civil Engineers. My name is Anushka Jha, and I'm going to be your host for today's episode. Today with us we have Shubham Rasani, who is currently a Deputy Manager Engineer at Tata. Was previously an Assistant Manager Engineer at Tata in the year 2020, uh, 2018. Has been part of various projects like Mumbai Metro, Pune Metro, Ahmedabad Metro, Virajwada Airport, uh, Tata Power Building. TRIL City Gurgaon uh, City Gurgaon and a lot of other building construction has also interned in Indian uh, Railway and Indian Institute of Science that is IIST the list goes on on and on so without further ado i would like to welcome our guest shubham rasani and would like to uh, would love to hear a few words uh, from him hello sir hi hello uh, first of all thank you for introducing me and giving me this platform of protrani to express my myself thank you for all this yeah so so uh, before going ahead uh, i would like to ask you like uh, how did you and uh, like uh, come into this field uh, civil engineering like it was a family uh, thing or like it was your like what do you say it's a personal choice or what was it how did you land up in this no no family background in construction field yeah i am from small town Uh, in MP and uh, for us the engineer, since childhood for us the engineer is a civil engineer mechanical engineer we don't know about the softwares and all this from that 90s 20s uh, i have completed my schooling in 2013 from uh, ujjain madhya pradesh and uh, we are from some small schools and all this so we doesn't have a big touch of softwares and all this some electronics gadgets and all this so uh from since childhood i have decided to be in a conventional conventional industry like civil industry mechanical industries and all this because whenever i i go through some bridges and i go through some tunnels i go through some big uh, t- uh, high rise buildings roads drainages i thought of how they are they will be constructed in so luckily i got a chance to being a part of a construction engineering background i got a civil engineering branch in 2013 i have started my graduation and in 2017 i have completed my btech in civil engineering from uh, sgs it sindhur a government institute of mp and after 2017 i have started my uh, career in a in a tata tata firm and uh, i have joined there as a trainee after that i was promoted to managerial field and currently i am i, I am working as a deputy project manager in engineering in tata projects head office and uh, yeah this field is uh, uh, is uh, not like a, uh, not a, like a, any childhood background nothing a family background i i i, I like this industry that's why i, be, I will be in, the, in this industry so like it's a personal preference and uh, like it's great like from the starting uh, initially you were very like opportunistic and like well well driven about your goals that's great okay so coming back to the second uh, question i would like to ask you like uh, as i like mentioned like you've been uh, interned earlier like before being part of the tata company you are working now so i've initially uh, interned in uh, indian railways and many other projects so what are your like uh, for uh, take on the internships like the what is the importance of internship like in your initial years of uh yeah civil engineering when i started my graduation in 2013 then slowly slowly actually in school fields we are completely studying on on the paper basis we doesn't know how we can use the physics or oh. chemistry what is the use of nitrogen oxide reaction in our life but when i started my graduation from first sem to s sem eighth semester i realized that uh, this is not a theoretical field completely we have to be in touch of practical aspects as well whatever we are studying in papers we have to we have to see how they are executed in site why i have to study all this what is the importance so after first, sec, second year i have realized that i have to be the part of some practical projects as well so i have joined indian railways as a part of as a intern there and uh, i think that was a very nice experience for me later on i have joined isc bangalore as a intern so internships are very important for uh, uh, college students so that they can relate all the subjects all the theoretical subjects with the practical aspects how they are executing on site construction sites and all this so there are a lot of fields uh, environmental water resources engineering 
urban infrastructure engineering uh, so there are in 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 eight semester i have studied almost 40 subjects and uh, 40 subjects are totally from different different backgrounds some is from water some is from structure some is from soil so every it is not possible for me to to uh, completely study all this and execute all this after completing the graduation so the internship is the only period like uh, let's say in civil field there are majorly two three or four branches first is structural engineering uh, urban infrastructure engineering uh, where we study about strength uh, structural analysis geotechnical analysis transportation these are all are the part of urban infrastructure second industry is a water industry where we study about all the water subjects and all this environmental engineering water resources irrigation projects all this so so i have completed my first first internship in water resources phe department so there i learned about the water distribution system water purifying system so that is also very important part of my life to being a to being a intern in phe then i joined indian railways and i studied about how the track laying is the train laying train laying process will be going on distribution of uh, tracks ballast and all this so transportation engineering survey and all this i have covered there uh, okay so um I guess you have muted yourself again. Audible now? Yeah, yeah, you are audible now. Yeah. yeah. So um, coming back to her question, there was some. Yeah, but of... we are on internships, so. Yeah. Yeah. Internships play a very crucial role. Yeah. So in internships, practice. yeah, very very crucial role. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So um, are there any qualities uh, or any facilities you would you think? could uh, change in colleges or improve any facilities or any qualities you think should change or anything like that in the colleges in that what yeah um, okay. first first thing in colleges uh, the academics the syllabus of the engineering mm. so syllabus of the engineering is perfect and up to that we doesn't need any modification in the engineering syllabus uh, just a, a few points we have to do is we have add some project management subjects in our graduation background as well. project management subjects uh, there are complete technical subjects and uh, if we are involving some project management subjects as per uh, college uh, college uh, syllabus then it's also be the it also better but uh, in in college syllabus there is no issue it's it's up to the mark from, from my side second thing is extra activities so i think uh, we have to focus on some extra activities like a uh, group management project management like event management activities so we have in every college there will this is this will be mandatory to become a part of a particular group particular group of maybe of construction sector or maybe like uh, like in our college we have we we are we have worked on some uh, bridge bridge making competitions and all this so we have organized the event and uh, we have organized the event we have executed the event so this project management skills are very important okay. so for extra curricular activities i think these these things we have to involve in our extra curricular activities so that we will because in civil engineering field there is no any this is not a part like we have to be strong in our in our core area because we in after graduation we have to be at site we have to be our managers i am i, I have done my btech in civil but here i am a manager because i have to manage the things for civil engineers managing the task is more important than than more important as compared to the other task so we have to focus on this part as well how we will organize the activity we will manage the activities uh, group participation fund raising and all this so i think this 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 activity this extra curricular activities we have to enhance in college uh, as a part of academic syllabus i don't think there will be a there there is any need of change in the syllabus the, the syllabus is up to the mark and college is the only platform where we got the opportunity to being a, a jack of all and master of none because after completing our graduation we will stuck in a particular industry like i am in a urban infrastructure industry so i am not able to utilize my subjects like environmental engineering fluid mechanics in my industrial aspects so but in but in engineering it is the only only area where we will study about environment water and all these two other than structures so i think syllabus is up to the mark we have to involve some project management subjects okay. uh, one or two project management subjects as well contract management and all this 
and we have to focus on extra uh, curricular activity organizing uh, event particular group fundraising uh, group communications and all these group activities interaction so that we will interact with someone we will manage the task because after completing our graduation if someone is a good manager then he will be valuable however the technical however the core strength of technical knowledge he has but if he doesn't know about the management then mm. i think he will not being appreciated in industry so that's the only advice i will give to the all the my uh, college related uh, faculties and all this okay. so okay so like co curricular activities and competitions would like enhance the uh, for better efficiency yeah. great yeah that's that's great and um, also um, are there any mistakes or any you know uh, you would like to alert the current uh, the students who are aspirants of uh, civil engineers or um, any advice you would like to give any advice to the um, budding engineers any like, something from your past experiences uh, uh, yeah uh, the civil engineering field is very exciting and uh, we doesn't have to be demotivated by the college placements packages because some soft guy is earning let's say 10 20 lakhs per annum after graduation and we are still searching for 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 jobs after few years but we doesn't have to demotivate ourselves uh, actually this field is like a gold by gold golden field by the as experience our experience will increase our knowledge will increase so don't don't demotivate that we are a fresher we are not getting a job and our colleagues from software or from electronics background is earning lakhs of rupees uh, we have to trust on ourselves that definitely there is a lag of demand and supply in our field mm. uh, demand is less but the supply of civil engineers is in bulk so that's why the problem of freshers is after completing their graduation they stuck that what will they will do Uh, they will there are not a big opportunities they they think that there are not big opportunities but it's not a it's not a it's not a thinking we have whatever i will suggest that in college time you will not go for practical trainings and all this totally focused on the core strength core subjects of civil engineering whatever be it is it is uh, survey transportation railways airports we have to be a uh, very strong in all these subjects we doesn't have to go that we will do some internship mm-hmm. some uh, some trainings of one year to year uh, in our co- four years college period this four year college period is very crucial for your core technical strength so being focus on the core subjects and after graduation the problem of students is they are not getting the good opportunity immediately after graduation it will take some time so patience is very important in our field so being patient and uh, uh, your inner strength is your uh, technical subjects you have to being good in technical areas okay. and uh, you uh, there are uh, there is no any uh, th- there is no any disadvantage we have to don't we have to compare with our software and other guys yeah, yeah. we being motivate ourselves uh, make our core strength more useful and in f- the only suggestion i will give to my juniors don't go for uh, practical trainings in your college periods oh. the college periods is only for your academic subjects that 40 subjects of eight semester you have to be the part of the college syllabus uh, just read full syllabus uh, thoroughly and and itna strong wo hona chahiye basic background will be very strong so that after 5 or 6 year when we will be in the field so we doesn't uh, we will remember all these concepts on site as well so this i will suggest there are a lot of students who will do internship of one years in four year college background they will intern they will do internship of one year two years six months that that is not the, the perfect time of graduation to do internship internship of 15 days 30 days is okay but after after completing your graduation uh, you have to be in the field so there this is not a issue initially we have lot of opportunities like government sectors private sectors so we will we will opt for any any area we will do masters out of uh, out of india as well ms we will complete our masters in india so there are lot of opportunities initially in private sector sees there are uh, reputed firms are very less like this lfg tata very less in number they will recruit hardly yearly 200 300 graduate engineers trainee per year daily so i think there i think after each and every year we will generate 50000 civil engineers in our country. this is a random number i don't i don't show maybe let's say 50000 civil engineers we will generate yearly or 1 lakh 1 lakh civil engineers freshers 
we will generate yearly but since the major companies like tata lnt shapurji fpons gemon mega and let's let's go more on to this let's have 12 12 15 20 mega companies in our country and they will recruit let's say 50 trainees 100 trainees per year after graduation so if 100 trainees into 20 companies so it is around 2000 2000 jobs so 2000 jobs we will got in these companies let's say government jobs of 100 200 seats yearly so it's 22 2300 23, jobs are there for freshers but freshers are i think 1 lakh in numbers 50000 in numbers so 50000 freshers are fighting for that 2000 3000 number of jobs so this is the problem actually so the solution is that we have to enter in the small industries as well we doesn't it is not mandatory mandatory to the, to be the part of lnt there are small small construction companies as well where there is a i don't i know that there is a very low pay scale for all this uh, but we have to join for uh, for experience we have to work for one or two years we have to prepare along with work for government jobs and uh, we will enter after taking the experience of four or five years we are able to again get the government job on experience basis as well so i think we have to don't we have to stuck on this this big companies we have to enter in small companies as well and we have to we will start our own inter, uh, structural consultancies for design of small buildings in our localities and all this we we will do as well so there are a lot of opportunities being patient and uh, don't miss the opportunities uh, whatever be the company it is if you are getting the opportunity let's say a small salary of 20000 25000 don't do go by salary if you are getting a good work there uh, okay. start job start job for one or two years don't go for salary for initial actually this is a thumb rule for civil engineers that initially 5 or 10 years we doesn't have to care about the money because money is gold it is increasing by experience so initially 5 or 10 year experience if we are getting good exposure of industries private or government industries definitely after 5 or 6 year we will found ourselves more confident lot of opportunities because if initially 5 or 10 years we will go for money for psus for lakhs of rupees and we are not learning about the industry learning about the management learning about the technicality of project like after 5 or 10 years we will see ourselves uh, lagging behind others okay. so i will uh, i will uh, uh, the, the only conclusion is for freshers do preparation of government jobs but along with this we have to to be the part of industry don't wait for two or three years job just after graduation join the industry uh, more more focused on the work uh, not on the salary because initially salary is low in the industry go on the work if work is good then you will uh, you will work on free of charge as well work is good work along with working you have you will revise your core subjects will prepare for government exam exams maybe after 4 or 5 years you will get a good experience and will join the multinational ex- companies like samsung construction as well and if not then you will join government jobs as well after getting 4 to 5 year experience so the only only thing i want to say is initial 4 5 years of experience is a struggling struggling task for engineers after graduation if we are thinking that we will join some good air organization we will earn lack of money this is not the case case for construction we have to work hard for 4 5 years after graduation we we'll learn about the industrial areas uh, and then we will we will go ahead and definitely if we get 10 or 20 years of good experience then we doesn't uh, go by salary we we will be the lead of a particular project okay. there are a lot of projects come and we will we will be the part of a project if we are working good and we are learning good in initial phase of life okay yeah, so like patience is the key that's like it yeah okay great okay, okay. so um I'm coming to the last question like uh, it's not like basically a question it's like um we would love that uh, if you could like take us a walk through your journey till now like your ups and downs and like just like from the starting to till now like just a small just okay okay uh as i i already uh, said that in 2013 hmm. i have completed my uh, schooling in 10th i have completed my uh, in 2011 i have completed my 10th and i doesn't have any idea about what what subjects i have to choose okay. and in which area i have to go after 10th we have to decide either we have to choose science subjects we have to choose some commerce arts right, and all yeah. this because in my family in my family there is no one from 
this uh, i think 10 pass is max to max in my complete family okay. i am from sindhi background and there is no any uh, edu- tight education in our area so i was stuck but uh, i go with the flow all my friends says that pcm physics chemistry maths is uh, everyone is taking physics chemistry oh. maths so i say okay i am i i am i am i was a average student and uh, so okay i i say okay i will i will also join physics chemistry maths and in later stage we will decide what we have to do so i have joined physics chemistry maths in 12th 11th and 12th after completion of board after completion of my uh, uh, schooling now there is there was again a confusion that what i have to do now i have to join my family business i have to continue my education and what i have to do so i doesn't doesn't know about this iits nits because there is no any 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 culture around us of engineering sectors that iits nits just hear from my friends that some some good institutes are there iits nits we have to prepare for that but uh, okay i say okay i will i will try for iits as well but uh, i doesn't selected in iits but there was a pre engineering pt test pre engineering test i got i think i was the topper of my step i have cleared the competitive exam the syllabus was of 11th and 12th so what i am saying that wahan pe bhi mujhe 11th to 12th ka syllabus hi kaam aaya mujhe exam crack karne mein aur that's the same thing i am telling that these four years of engineering these four years subjects 40 subjects are very crucial for you if you are in the industry and till you died these 40 subjects are always helping you in each and every problem of engineering so i will again continue to my 11th 12th so after 12th i have cleared my pre engineering test and i i will be among the toppers of my of my school of my area so the, i i i joined the state Inge- state government college which is which is the top college of engineering at that time and i maybe today as well so i have joined gsits in 2013 gsits indo and uh, when i joined the college in 2017 i got civil engineering branch because maybe my marks was low so after starting graduation realized that this field has limited job opportunity there is a lot of competition in construction field civil engineering field and uh, all this but the only thing which motivates motivates me was the interest towards the construction subjects what each and everything is very interesting for me it's very new for me so i have completed a graduation without any any negative negative reviews of my colleagues and of my uh other so i i i was very interested in the construction field i started my graduation after becoming after crossing the third year when i when we reached the final years then we think that what i we have to do after fourth year so uh, we have started preparing for some government and gate exams as we have started by our own so after completion of graduation basically i i, I was lucky to being a part of tata projects I, I was selected in Tata Projects Limited as a graduate engineer training. Uh, so, but uh, every, uh, I, everyone thought that now uh, the struggle is complete for him. He is a part of Tata and uh, he is earning lakhs of money and all this. But after uh, becoming a training, I realized that the struggling is the struggle is starting from from the uh, from this period. Till now, we are in the comfort zone. We are just studying and just uh, making fun of all the friends and. doing a group activities but na, new learnings the the practical learning will start from the first year from that day initially i have been site hmm. after becoming a part of training i was in site of some construction project it was a, a building project of mcm in gurgaon so initially initially for one year i i have joined this executive team at site so at that time we our job timing was morning at to evening so we have to be at site a complete 12 hours we have at site we have to uh, manage our construction activities we have to do some uh, like for a building we have started our excavation raft foundation casting column casting vertical casting there are different different activities in a building projects and i was uh, initially uh, initially for one year i was at site and uh, uh, that was that was a 20 12 hours job a day so that, that gives me a lot of learnings after one year i will be i was shifted to i was shifted to some uh, some other site of mega ahmedabad metro project for 6 or 7 months there i was uh, assigned as a casting yard manager there so there i studied i learn about the metro activities different different type of me- components in a metro project and uh, after 6 months i i was shifted to head office mumbai so okay. there i am i am currently i am a part of a uh, structural design design team 
so i am a design manager there i will coordinate to the all site and uh, go going through the gfcs and releasing the technical design documents to the and helping the site for all this and uh, next year next week i am shifted to pune metro site as well so i uh, my my reporting officer has given me responsibility to to being a part of that project and uh, i am I, uh, so next week i am shifted to pune metro so the conclusion is uh, we have to be in 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 construction site we have to we doesn't know where we are tomorrow we have to shift on every every maybe on every month every week every year and uh, for for like me i am very i am very uh, adventurous and uh, going I, i i i feel very boring after 6 or 7 months in the same place so this field is very good for me and uh, i uh, yearly i i will i will change uh, every year i will change my location so i will interact with interact with new people uh, learning something new so that's good that that that's it from my okay yeah. yeah fine that's great so really insightful like full of you know uh, uh, really like i guess the all this uh, budding engineers who are watching will watch this would be like it's good very educational and knowledgeable session thank you so much shubham for being part with uh, for our team and we uh, hello yeah yeah so i yeah i want to say something for your firm uh, that's yeah. pro tenny pro tenny actually there are uh, after graduation of a civil engineering student they start coaching in different different type of institutes i will not give name of anyone but they will they will teach a uh, civil engineering students about the same 40 subject they have studied in the engineering but they have already studied the subject they will give they will they will give coachings of the same 40 subjects so that they will create the competitive exams they will they will do some government jobs and all this so your organization has done something new say they you have start your training uh, by touching the practical field with the professional way with the theoretical way so this is a this is something new and uh, i think this i think the students have to prefer this these things uh, as compared to that because this is after two or three years if we will part of this uh, training institutes then definitely we will we will be in the touch with the practical organization we will get a opportunity to being a part of this organization as well so there's something new from your from your organization and uh, it's quite a uh, quite good and uh, in, yeah. interesting to learn about your organization yeah thank you yeah that's that's true and yeah i guess well, thank you so much for being part